In this tutorial, we will be learning how to export bit by bit geometry into Unreal Engine by using GLTF. And we'll be using 3GS Game Engine uh, as an example. And I'll use the geometry that I've made uh, for a recent demo of hexagon patterns. Okay, so let's move into this project that we will be exporting to Unreal. And I've built this on StackBlitz. It's really a simple project, right? That contains few files you see here in the package JSON that we depend on bit by bit dev 3GS NPM package. It just installs the latest version of bit by bit, which allows us to create these kinds of shapes, hexagon patterns. Uh, it includes a lot of CAD features and kernels that you may want to use. Uh, but this tutorial is not really about building this geometry. Uh, it's more about exporting it to Unreal Engine. And we will be using GLTF file that you see here. I extended this demo with this button here. And if you click it, you will just download the file immediately to your downloads folder. Uh, the one thing that we will need to do before we uh, export is increase the quality of this mesh because you see that it's sort of made to perform well when we update all kinds of parameters here. So you see that if I change the parameter to 9, for example, so the, there are fewer of hexagons now in this model. And yeah, it updates quite fast, right? And this speed depends a bit on how uh, dense the mesh is of the model. And let's get back and use 41 as we did before. It will compute this model again, right, uh, with more hexagons. And to change the quality, we will need to go to this create shape uh, part. And I will just say that we will use 0.01 for exports. So now it's recomputing and you will see that the walls look much better. They're not, you know, uh, just polylines, but more dense meshes. Uh, what we also want to do before we export, we want to disable the drawing of the edges because yeah, in Unreal Engine, we don't really need them. Uh, so let's now hit download. This is the model that we will be using. And another thing that I will do, I will also create additional model that will have, you know, maybe a bit different geometry, for example, and fewer subdivisions of hexagons. And we will be importing both of those models into Unreal to just, you know, showcase how easy it is to create variations. Uh, let's go here. Uh, here we have some curve points that we define in the very beginning of the script. And I'll just find this mid curve. You see that it has the middle on 3.7. And let's just rise it, you know, to something like maybe seven. This might look ugly. I don't know. Um, let's see how it turns out. But let's just do that for the sake of this tutorial. Yeah, okay. You know, it's quite interesting still, I think. Uh, there might be some hexagons that will not, you know, maybe clash and stuff like that, but let's just use it for now. It's fine. Let's download that too. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's also remember to disable the drawing of the edges. Let's download GLTF for this. And I'll just get back and reset this parameter here in the code. I'll also make sure to save this and I'll put back the precision. If you want to experiment, you know, you can always fork this project to your own StackBlitz uh, account and experiment yourself freely. So this is also one part why I find StackBlitz so amazing is that, you know, you can just have this coding environment meant for professionals in the browser and you can fork it, download it locally. Um, yeah, later on deploy it, you know, all of that is supported by StackBlitz and also, um, you know, we have editors on bit by bit dev, uh, definitely for visual programming, you know, this is something unique uh, for our platform, but our, for example, coding editor, uh, Monaco is not as fancy as the one from StackBlitz. So that's why I use it, uh, especially for showing off how to use the open source packages of bit by bit. Uh, they are, you know, um, available for you to be installed like this, like just having package JSON and here you define the version that you want and the package that you need and that's it. And we have also packages for Babylon JS. Uh, we have also sort of core packages that don't depend on any game engine. So you can build your own implementation. If you work with something really custom on the web, maybe just web jail, for example, um, in any case, this is good to know that, you know, you can just install that. And now let's move into unreal. 
Hey, sorry to interrupt. In case you don't know me, I'm Matas, the founder of Bit by Bit. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I also want to offer you a small deal. Because you're watching this video, I assume that you're using Bit by Bit platform too. Here's the promo code that will give you a small discount to our silver and gold plans. With these plans, you gain access to our cloud infrastructure, 3D configurators, and other advanced features. Your subscription also helps me develop the content, such as this video that you're watching right now. It also helps me develop bit by bit platform and keep majority of its features free and open source to everyone. Your support means a lot to me. I hope you'll consider the offer and let's continue with the video. Okay, and we're in Unreal now. This is the game engine that we will be using to import those models. Uh, this is a very powerful game engine, right? Uh, actually, my computer isn't uh, very suited to this game engine. It's just a MacBook uh, that, you know, finds it quite difficult to render high quality scenes. But actually for making animations that you saw in the beginning of the video, it works fine. Uh, so let's just get started and let's import those GLTFs that we've created. I will use this button import into level and I will pick the files. So after I select the file from the downloads folder, you know, I will go here and I will say that I want to create a new folder for this import and it will be my uh, hexagon model. So I'll just name this folder like this and I'll say, okay. Now we are presented with these default uh, settings for loading GLTF files. And you may uh, see that I disabled the Nanite uh, building of the meshes. And that's because my MacBook doesn't support Nanite. And when it builds it, you know, I get weird meshes coming out of that. Anyway, uh, let's just now hit this import. I don't think you need to change any other settings other than that, unless you really know what you're doing, of course. But let's just hit import. And you'll see that our model is loading slowly. Uh, it looks a little bit different from the one that we had, you know, in the uh, browser. It's not as blue, maybe. Uh, those materials are being lit, you know, by the Unreal lights, and that's why it looks a bit different. And you may also have these, you know, lighting needs to be rebuilt um, warnings, and you do need to keep in mind that when you import GLTF, you know, you import everything that you have in the scene. And that means that we also imported some lights. And what we will do, what I will do, actually, I will just delete those lights here. You see that we have scene seven node one. This is the light and I will just hit backspace to delete it. And now these warnings are gone. Uh, I will also get rid of this uh, ground plane that was default here. And now it looks quite cool, I think. The only thing that I really want to do still uh, is I want to move this model and it contains three meshes, I think. So let's select those. We can also select them probably here. Uh, maybe that's even better actually. So let's do it like this, select them all and move them aside. And I move them, oh yeah, a little bit too much. Let's move them back like this. Okay, I move them because I will be importing yet another model, right? Uh, and I will just delete this ground for now because we will also be importing ground from the other model. Let's do that. Let's go here. Let's hit import again into the level. So here I will create yet another folder called hexagon model two, and I will hit OK. And here, you know, the settings are fine. Um, you see that now we have two models in the scene and they are both you know following the same logic uh, that was coded into this 3GS project but now they are in one scene and this is quite cool right you can create these complex shapes without much effort uh, so I will be moving these three uh, b-reps now as well to some different location let's see so yeah, these ones, I'll just move them like this. And yeah, maybe it's smart as well to just move those closer like this. Um, you see that my FPS count isn't really great, but yeah, it works. So now what I will do, I'll just scale the ground a little so that it covers these uh, pieces. So let's do like 
maybe two and two and this will be better so now the ground is bigger the models are loaded uh, what i usually do is i also just use some materials from unreal to make it look better and this tutorial might not be about that uh, but yeah we can just go here i'll move my head back into space i'll hit materials and yeah we can just apply the material for example on those places that are white let's see let's do that here as well so we made that a bit more you know beautiful i think the hexagons are easier to recognize and yeah let's also put some you know metal surface to the ground to create nice uh, reflections let's do that yeah voila this is looking quite quite cool and of course you can always you know play with sky and uh, this is where unreal really shines you can just change the latitude for example to be lower so you create this evening atmosphere uh, and also then you can change where your sun is at so let's do it like this let's move it even lower and now you will see that yeah these models begin to look really nice and yeah the scene is quite quite beautiful uh, so yeah what you saw me uh, do in the beginning uh, was creating animations with some unreal cameras and i'm not going to do that uh, this time uh, it was more about showing you how to import these models you also see again this error that uh, light needs to be rebuilt so we need to delete the light again so if you're building configurators in 3gs you know or in babylon js you can always uh, find ways to export gltf either through bit by bits commands or through the game engine itself and yeah this is, is really uh, helping you to then bring those assets to other software packages such as unreal in this case this is it for the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i hope you see how easy it is to generate different kinds of shapes uh, by using bit by bit so if you enjoyed this tutorial you know just hit that subscribe button on our youtube channel and i hope you will be watching other videos that i'm making cheers